Hey man, tell it out, man. If you was in a restaurant and you saw this, what would you do? Man, listen, see, this is exactly how they gonna be playing this on us, see? We gonna look at it like, oh, I ain't saying everybody, but you know, a lot of people see stuff and they feel like it's just the, the best shit they done seen in their whole life. The kids gonna be running up playing and all that stuff. But it ain't gonna be so funny when your wife or your old girl, somebody close to you, daughter or whoever get fired because of these same things, these same robots. I've been telling y'all about it. And they sneak these things into society and they use all type of different ways to do it. They do it through cartoons. They do it through commercials. They do it through movies. Uh, you name it. This is how they're going to sneak shit like this and right up on our nose, right, you know, right to us. And it's just crazy that um, we don't catch on to this stuff sooner than later because we basically got to look at it like this. So they're creating computers and artificial intelligence and AI to emulate us to take our place understand that people so we should literally be to the point when we see something like that we, to kick it over or something or burn it up or do whatever we got to do to it because at the end of the day these very things are going to be taking our jobs not taking they are right, let's be real taking our jobs um at some point going to be even taking taking care of our kids they're going to have nannies as uh ai or computers robots a lot of people just sit back and act like it ain't no it's not a reality, but it's more so a reality than what you think. Now, when you see stuff like this, you got to think to yourself, what's the sole purpose of it? Just like I said before, when they got different robots and AIs and artificial intelligence or whatever that are taking on our jobs, why? Because I'm telling y'all, they don't want us here, period. They don't want to have to put up with us. They make us... When, when slavery was here, they made people do things by force. Now, they don't have to do that because they control what's up here. And they just created a world that certain things are implemented to further control us. Like I say, like the phones and everything else. Now, what I'm saying is this. If they know that robots are going to take place of humans, where that's going to put humans? That's what you got to ask yourself. That's basically what I'm talking, what I'm trying to say. They don't want us here. And they want it to the point where if if the Terminator, you know, if when it becomes a reality and you see it, and they don't put it in so many movies, and a lot of times they put shit in movies to kind of massage the, the thought into our reality, to, to try to get us used to seeing it. Like, hey, when it comes, we're not so freaked out. When that becomes a reality and we see that the police is a robot, and we know damn well we can't beat it physically. What are we gonna do? I'm telling y'all, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. It's even crazy for them to even want to do something like this. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. I've done videos on how they taking plants, fruits, vegetables, switch them out for GMOs, right? That means they control the farming business, agriculture. I told, I did a video about all the original seeds that they locked off in the vault. What are they doing with those seeds? The original seeds, they got them locked away. The Rockefellers, the Bill Gates, and all the other one percenters. You should think about that. I did videos showing y'all how farmers in India was committing suicide by the thousands, not a hundred. Thousands of farmers in India was committing suicide. Go look it up for yourself. Why? Because they came in with Monsanto making these farmers use these, uh, well, tricking them to use these GMOs, fake ass seeds. This is where the cancer and all that's coming from. Like, y'all gotta do your research on that stuff. You understand where it comes from. But what I'm saying is, we need to put a stop to this now before it's too late. We need to stop our kids from looking at these ratchet ass cartoons. We need to stop. Um, we need to stop participating in a lot of stuff we see on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? From music to um, 
Like, just because, like, I say certain music I just don't listen to. I won't listen to. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that I've never made that type of music because I once was caught up too. But at the end of the day, I progressed. And that's what I'm trying to get a lot of other people to do. It ain't about where you start, where you finish. But what I'm saying is, when you see stuff like that, what I just showed you, the robot in the in the, in the um in the restaurant bringing people their food, man, we don't need that, man. Kick, kick it over, kick it over, stump on it, burn it up. We don't need it. Why do we need robots emulating us? And I'm telling y'all, I'm just scratching the surface with what I'm saying. If I tell y'all what's in that, what they trying to get everybody to get, pay attention to what I'm doing. This what they trying to get everybody to get, and they buy this. If, if I showed y'all how that's linked to everything, what I'm saying, it'll blow your mind. That's why I told y'all, don't go get that. They trying to get everybody, don't go get that. Because once you do, you're no longer yourself. And you have to look up, do your research on nanotechnology. And that's just one thing. I'm just scratching the surface. And I'm showing y'all, that's how they're trying to centralize us and turn us into um well we already like cyborgs so we already use our phones for navigation we use computers to do pretty much on a daily you know daily task so we pretty much are already cyborgs but at the end of the day these people are trying to centralize everything this is why it's so important that we do away with this artificial intelligence how in the hell are we going to bring in robots over humans who going to pay for like who how you gonna be able to pay for some of these things if you ain't if you can't work? So you gotta ask yourself, it ain't about no damn work. It's about wiping us out. <laughs> these people are literally taking their conscious. They call it consciousness. Some people call it a soul, whatever you wanna call it. They taking the consciousness or the soul, right? And trans and trans um trans um, putting it transporting it onto a, a memory, a memory chip. And putting that memory chip inside a computer. So basically all they did was took your consciousness or your soul outside this shell. Because this is a shell, your body. And put it in the computer. You've seen many movies about it. You probably know what the hell they were talking about. They doing that. Let me say that again. <laughs> they taking your consciousness or your soul. Putting it on a chip. And putting it in a computer. Y'all better go look at The Matrix. The Matrix is a documentary. It's not a movie. The Matrix is a documentary, and it's telling you exactly what's going on. You see how his body was, but his mind was somewhere else. His mind was in the Matrix. So physically, you hear, but your consciousness or your soul is inside, is inside the, the mainframe or the computer frame. I told you we had a war for our mind, people. <laughs> Simple, man. Ain't that hard to figure out. Um... And if you understand where I'm coming from, then you can, if you understand, then you can stand over it and overstand. <sighs> anyway, y'all know how to do, man. I just want to bring y'all the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. And um, when y'all start seeing all this artificial intelligence stuff pop up, y'all going to start hearing about it on y'all jobs. Even people who work for Amazon, Amazon's starting to ship them upstate if you're down south. And probably from wherever to go learn artificial intelligence. A lot of people can lose their jobs. This is how greedy these people is. And guess what, people? We gave them all the power they got. We the ones buying the products. We the ones lined up when they got stupid ass shoes to sell and when the new this come out and the new that come out. It's us. I keep telling y'all all the power. We hold all the power. Power in the people. I wonder what God got to say about this. But anyway, this is how greedy these people are, man. These people don't give a damn. You can work for them for 100 years and help them through their toughest times. If them numbers ain't looking right, they'll look you right in your eye and say, you are fired. You got to go. They have no soul. <laughs> this is why they can do that. They don't have feelings. It's business. Hmm? Like they say, you got to have ice water running through your veins. You can't have blood when you're doing business. Anyway, it's what popped up, man. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, make sure y'all check out the merch on the bottom of this if you're on YouTube, man. Check out them sweaters, man. That woke well. Check it out.
And if you see it, it's a light bulb with a brain in it and it say, think. And that's all I be trying to get y'all to do. I'm out. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh.